Hey everybody, it's Steve Hasselbeck with Coldwell Banker at a Downers Grove. Thanks for joining me today. What I wanted to talk about today is how to get your home ready uh, to sell. So that's kind of the staging process. Think about the um, model homes that you may have been into and, and new construction and how clean and neat and everything it is and appeals to a very broad audience. So you wanna do the same thing with your home. Rather than tell you what you should have in your home today, I'm gonna to tell you what you shouldn't have in your home. So let's go down the list. I'm actually uh, using uh, homes that I've seen in the last four years in real estate, along with my own home, and uh, you know, providing the, these insights of tips and tricks of what you should not see in a model home. Uh, certainly, you don't wanna see figurines of angels. You don't wanna see pictures of mom and baby over the years. You don't want to see uh, that afghan that uh, a good friend of yours knitted thrown across the back of the sofa. Uh, maybe going into an office, you don't want to see your children's artwork, and neither do you want to see a desk that's covered with bills that need to be paid. Uh, in the dining room, you've got a china cabinet. Uh, what you don't want to see in that china cabinet is every place setting that you received as a wedding gift 30 years ago. Minimize the china cabinet, don't fill it up with everything that you own. Bathrooms are a huge deal. If you go into a model home and new construction, you're gonna agree with me. Here's what you're not gonna see. You're not gonna see a toilet brush. You're not gonna see a plunger. You're not gonna see a bathroom scale, medicine bottles, tissue boxes, uh, electric toothbrushes, hair dryers, electric razors. Uh, you're not gonna see a clock or shampoo bottles, conditioner bottles of body wash. <clears throat> you're not gonna see a loofah sponge. Uh, a nail brush, contacts, lens cleaner, or even a bath mat. In fact, bathrooms and model homes look like nobody ever used it, and yours should too. In the kitchen, I'm gonna use my own kitchen as a, an example. Don't need two sets of carving knives on the countertops. You don't need a coffee pot, and a Keurig, and a teapot, and a KitchenAid mixer, and a toaster. Clear your countertops to make your kitchen look as big as possible. In the family room, you don't need the high school graduation picture from your kid from uh, 10 years ago, uh, nor do you need uh, pictures of four generations of the family or photos of the kids dating back 10, 15, 20, 25 years. Um, and a bulletin board, you know, we all, bulletin boards are fine in a home, but what you don't wanna see is a bulletin board that's filled with newspaper clippings, comic strips, dentist and barber appointments, uh, plumber and landscaper business cards, uh, a button from a uh, parent's weekend at college or a button from your neighbor's uh, 60th birthday party. Clean up the bulletin board. Uh, in the master bedroom, we don't need to see uh, wedding photos from your wedding from 30 years ago or a, um, um, you know, more angel figurines or a daily inspirational calendar uh, with quotes. Other bedrooms. Don't need to see in the kids' bedrooms a teenager's gaming system and a gaming chair or figurines of characters from the latest movies or TV shows, a coin tray uh, that's uh, filled to the brim and overflowing, old furniture maybe from a first apartment, a uh, random music stand, an old desk and chair, or a photo from uh, your kid's college dorm room. Uh, the other thing you want, don't want to see in a room is a little league, you know, baseball, soccer, basketball team pictures, you know, dating way back, uh, or even you know, laying around some rooms, books that you intend to read someday. Uh, what else won't you see in a model home? Uh, you're not going to see photos of politicians or specific sports teams like Cubs versus Sox, Notre Dame versus USC, Ohio State versus Michigan. Uh, we shouldn't see religious artifacts like crosses, stars of Deva, David, uh, Buddha statues, prayer mats, things like that. And what you absolutely will never see in a model home is a firearms collection. And lastly, you won't see a cat's litter box or a, uh, a climbing tree or the dog's uh, food and water bowls, crates or pet beds. These are some things that you don't want to see uh, when you're staging a home. So. I try to make it a little bit of fun, you know, that we're having some of this stuff, uh, you know, lying around. We certainly live differently than we list. So we're going to list and make our home appeal to the broadest audience possible. So if you have any questions about selling your home or uh, helping get it staged, give me a call. Steve Hasselbeck, Coldwell Banker, 630-415-6577. Thanks for listening.